it's pretty incredible that we live in a world now where with just one click of a button, you can actually help change somebody's life. What do you guys like to do with your leftover rotisserie I'm going to tell you what I do with my leftover rotisserie chicken right now, Amber. Do this. If I want to do a cooking show, I need to be able to look at you guys. So I went ahead and found a piece of metal laying around the shop. It's a little flimsy, but I think it'll work for at least this one. And you know when you're sick, you just lose your appetite, but like you have to eat, right? So of course, my go-to girl, Amber Eats, she makes food just look so good and she's absolutely gorgeous. Watched her for a little bit and she finally gave me some of my appetite back. She is eating a rotisserie chicken and I just so happen to have so I thought I would show you guys my absolutely favorite sandwich. My mom used to take, make this for us all the time and it's just like so good. Oh no, is there an ant on there? There are ants everywhere. Well, extra protein, right? You gotta get the fresh bakery loaf of bread. If you have an RV then you know it can get a little crazy when it comes to cooking meals. I got a little wild on 4th of July. <laughs> I woke up in the morning and I walked outside and I found my cell phone in the tailgate pool that we put together. I don't know how I got there still to this. It was in the pool, completely submerged in water overnight. Cell phone's toast and I use my cell phone to make videos. I know, amateur hour, right? Work with what you've got. If you guys saw what I usually do for a tripod, it's usually this stuck in like a wine bottle or a bottle of sand. I'm ghetto. You just work with what you got in life. All right, so you cut your bread, and this is the best part. Gerard's dressing. This is the main ingredient, and you can't substitute. Like, don't be going out and getting some, like, Hidden Valley. Do they have Italian? I don't even know. Um, you can't. You have to get Gerard's. So get a plate, because this gets really messy. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why I'm sick. I've just felt like I wanted to throw up for days now. No, I'm not pregnant. You guys want to see my cell phone? It's in a bag of rice now. So now you get the Gerard's dressing, and you just literally smother this bread. And this is like a, I'm doing a really simple version of the sandwich today. This is actually like what my, actually, like I'm not messing around when it comes to the Gerard's dressing, okay? Like you can really like put it on there. You kind of want your bread to get a little soggy. Oh, it's so good. And it's just so simple. You get a rotisserie chicken. If you want your chicken to be like warm, throw it in the toaster oven real quick and warm it up. But today, I don't want it to be warm because it's too hot in this RV and that toaster oven is a nightmare. So you just put your, your chicken on there like that and you close your sandwich and then you eat it and you can just dip it in the Gerard's dressing while you eat it and it's so good. Now my mom was like obsessed with cheese so she would always put cheese on this sandwich. Like I said you could put tomato but like it's so good just like this. Remember what I said, key, Gerard's dressing. I'm gonna take a bite, I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. We're gonna leave the eating videos up to Amber because she has a, like, she's just so pretty while she eats. Hey, you guys need to go check her out because she's just like my girl crush of all time. Girl, you got pretty mouth. <laughs> I'm not an attractive eater at all. So much so that when I was like 18, my first roommate came running down the stairs in our condo and he was like, Morgan, you're really attractive. Like, oh, thanks, Curtis. And he's like, until you eat. Wait, that is it. That's all you have to do. Let's talk about YouTube money for a minute. I'm like, my mind is blown right now. So I've been wanting to make this, you know, a thing. I've always loved entertaining people. My whole life, ask anybody that knows me, you know. It's been taking a while to make money. I think I got, what, my first hundred bucks, like maybe right before the summer, last summer. And when I moved into my RV, my channels just started taking off a little bit and I started making more money. And the next thing I know, I was getting like $600. Holy crap. And then we, as we all know, I came down to the shop, Fast on Wheels, and I just kind of like stopped. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just stopped uploading and, and my revenue went back down to zero. No more YouTube money. One morning I woke up and I just was so fed up of watching all my potential go down the drain. Like it broke my heart. Like Morgan, what are you doing? Like hustle, you know? You love this. Why are you stopping? Why do you stop? So I got back on it and you guys, oh no, these are not, this is not happening. Why am I gonna cry all the time? I'm so emotional. You guys, it got back up 
and it's higher than it's ever been. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Sometimes I think I'm crazy for this whole YouTube thing. Like, Morgan, well, you know, you're, this is, you need to go get a job. And I just don't even know what to do, you know? It's been a, like, I, don't, I didn't go to school for anything. So I just decided to believe in this. I'm like, okay, you know? And some people are like, what are you thinking? You're gonna move out to the South and then what's gonna happen? Like, you don't have any money to buy a property. But I just don't let that cloud my brain. I'm like, no, like by the time I get there, I'll have the money. Like that's just, I'll do, you know, I got this. But I'm not gonna lie, sometimes those thoughts do creep into my head. There's no way I'm gonna make enough money on YouTube in order to get there and actually buy a piece of property. It just looks like it's happening and it's crazy. <laughs> so if I can just keep this up, oh my God, I might actually be able to put down like a down pay. I can't even talk. <sighs> I was thinking about what I could do for more content and what, you know, and I just um, thought that maybe making some, I need to pull myself together for a minute. When you want it bad, it can make you really emotional, <laughs> you know? And I can't even tell you how bad I want that piece of property right now. Like I can't even explain you at all. I want it so bad. <sighs> so, it's like, since this all of a sudden looks like it's like, working <laughs> I thought well I could I would love to do like more content and you know just give you guys everything I guess I don't know so if you guys want to see an RV cooking show let me know and uh, go see my girl so that she can keep getting her channel to grow because her channel is growing she's stoked right now it's just like yes follow your dreams people follow what you're passionate about because it does go somewhere eventually everyone's gonna tell you you're crazy too like everyone I cannot even count how many people just this year alone have called me homeless told me to go get a job so that's what I'm doing that's my life I did like let that get in my head like I am a loser and I should have gone to school and I why don't I have like a good job and what is going on with my life <laughs> when I'm in those moments I just let it out you know, and then I get back up and I just keep going. And that's what you gotta do. And that's what I've been doing. I'm just gonna take it nice and easy. We'll figure that out later. I just stalled in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if any of you guys are out there thinking about doing something that just might just be a little, a little weird. We got one week. We can knock this out. People just don't understand it. <laughs> or they call you homeless, or they call you a loser, or they tell you to go get a real job. You just, you just come find me, you know? And, I, and I'll kick their ass for you. Thank you for each and every one of you that has supported me throughout all of this and told me to keep going. You just keep going, you know? If I can keep those numbers up, like this is gonna be my job. <laughs> Finally, I can just be like, I don't even have to say anything to the people that were so mean to me. Haters watch you the most, so they'll be able to see it. And it, that makes me happy because those people that said those mean things to me, that really hurt. And some of those people, like, I cared about them. Just a few minutes ago, I was watching Dave 2 ds channel and he had mentioned that he deleted all of his videos. And that guy is so funny. Like, if you don't know him, like, go check him out too. Oh wait, he deleted all of his videos. Well, he'll be back. His explanation video was that he just wants to do what he's passionate about now and roasting people just wasn't what he felt good about anymore, you know? And I am just so for that decision. When you do things that you're passionate about, money will follow. Don't go chase money, you know? It could be really hard at times and scary, but it's very rewarding. I'm like, I'm like at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to YouTubers, but like these little milestones are just so rewarding for me. You go party? You wear party? Okay, <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> you hungry? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's do it. I don't think I told them the good news yet. You guys, mommy's starting to make some YouTube money, which means I'm going to get the property probably. Got to keep this up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they will be so stoked about the property. Oh my Look at them. They deserve it more than anybody in the world. What are you eating now? Hot pop ramen? Oh, love top ramen.